So, originally, I was going to come on here with something like this. <clears throat> Hold on, watch this. I was going to come on here with something like this. We want Dallas. We want Dallas. You know, mocking the, the Washington fans, you know, because that's what they did last week. They were cheering that in their stadium. I guess I'm drinking coffee because it's really cold in here. So, I was going to do that. Because in the first, the first half, you know, we go and it's 24 uh, nothing. We go into the, we go into halftime, it's 24 nothing, And I'm feeling good. I'm like, oh man, we can, we can put up. 50 on these guys. We only scored three points in the second half. Three points. Now, Micah Parsons had an amazing game. All right. I don't care what any of these other uh, cowboy video makers say. Our defense kept us in this game. All right. And for all you haters out there that like to come on here or onto anybody else's uh, channel and videos that they make and say, oh, Dak's not the man. Shut up. All right. I don't want to hear it. You come on here and you start saying that I'm deleting your comment. All right. Because I don't blame this game on Dak at all. At all. I don't blame. First of all, we did win. All right. But I can guarantee you. No Cowboys fan out there is happy about how this game went down. All right? No Cowboys fan. Even though we came out of there with the win, no Cowboys fan is happy about how this game went down. None. None at all. All right? So, so the first half we go out there like gangbusters, all right? We're all over them. They can't stop us. And then we go into halftime, and I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I mean, obviously, everybody's saying, you know, Dak's not playing the same since he got hurt, which is true. He's not. You know, he hurt his calf a little bit. And um, ever since then, he hasn't been playing the same. And Pollard was out. That could have taken a, that could have had an effect on how we played. But I, I don't blame this game on any players, honestly. I don't blame this game at all on any players on how this game went down. Play calling. Play calling. We're still using Jerry, I'm uh, sorry, we're still using Jason Garrett's plays when he was here. There was a reason why he got fired because he fucking sucked. Why are we still using his plays? It doesn't make any sense at all. No sense. We change everything. We change pretty much the whole coaching staff. And we keep Kellen Moore as our offensive coordinator. And for the most part, I'm fine with that. But explain to me why we're still using plays that Jason Garrett was using when he was here. It doesn't make any sense to me. None at all. It doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. In the second half, particularly in the fourth quarter, we couldn't, we couldn't pass. We couldn't run. We couldn't do anything. Pretty much, basically, had this game went on for one more quarter, we would have lost. We would have lost this game. Okay? Now, that last interception that they got on us, which was, which was a pick six, okay, Dak had his tight end wide open, and he didn't see them, see the guy that, um, whoever, the linebacker that intercepted the ball. Didn't see him, all right? I will still blame that one on Dak. But we couldn't, but our, we were going three and out, 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 every single time in the fourth quarter. We only won because we outlasted them, because we had put the numbers up that we had beforehand. All right? We outlasted them. That's all I can say about it. 
and I blame it solely on the play calling. All right? I don't blame the offense in particular. Could they have probably done some things better? Yeah. Defense, I have no problem with our defense. None at all. I have no problem with our defense. Our offense maybe could have done a few things better, sure. But this game solely was on the shoulders of the play calling. On how this game turned out. On how it went down, especially in the second half. Play calling. Your fault, Kellen Moore. Your fault, Mike McCarthy. And I'm going to say it now. The biggest one at fault is Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones, he likes to be in control. So he kept a guy that was Jason Garrett-like and would basically bend over to him. Nothing's going to change for the Cowboys while uh, Jerry Jones is still there. Nothing at all. But did he? But did Jerry Jones have a direct impact on this game today? No. It was all Kellen Moore and it was all Mike McCarthy. That's all I can say about it, guys. That's all I can say about it. So, we won. We're 9-4 and four now. Um, I'm not, after this game, I'm not feeling particularly excited about the Cowboys pre almost guaranteed the Cowboys are going to go into the playoffs I'm not going to say that it we're for sure going in it's looking like we're going to go into the playoffs but you can't you can't tell me you can't tell me now obviously playoffs are different okay playoffs are different everyone knows that but you cannot tell me that you're excited to see us play the Rams or the Cardinals, or the Packers, or the even, even the Bucks again. You can't tell me that you're excited to see that. Can we make it to the to the divisional round? Sure. But we need to be in like the number three seed, or even the number two, to feel for me to feel even better about how 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 our playoffs are going to play out for us. In simplest terms, I, that's the only way that I can say that. For me to be excited about the Cowboys going into the playoffs, we got to do something different. We got to look even better than what we look today. Today's game was not a good example of how we're going to look in the playoffs. So, but that's all I got, guys. Let me know what y'all think down below, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a wonderful day, guys. God bless you all. Go Cowboys. Peace.